Good morning, this is Mother Stephanie coming to you from St. Luke's Episcopal Church and welcome to morning meditation. This morning I want to reflect on something that I read in The Practice of Prayer by Margaret Gunther. And I invite you to check this book out. It's part of the Episcopal Church's Church Teaching Series, number four. And it talks about the practice of prayer and spirituality. In this book, she explains that the practice of prayer is something we don't think about. We don't think about prayer as something you practice. We think about it as something you do. Either you have a connection with God or you don't. Either your prayers <clears throat> are answered or they're not. But the reality is, like everything else, prayer requires practice. There are some interesting books out there that have nothing to do with spirituality. One is called The Intention Experiment, in which it was discovered that scientists can influence their um, experiments because of what they intend. If they intend for a certain outcome to happen, very often their intention influences the result of their experiment. So very often they will take themselves out of the room, away from the, the office. Let the experiment go by itself. Try not to think about it while the experiment is in play. We also have a lot of uh, New Age meditation and philosophies that teach similar uh, doctrines. That if you want, I think the power of positive thinking gives one example. Prayer is more powerful than any of these because we tap into the very power of the source of all creation. However, we need to practice. We need to make our intentions more focused and stronger. Unfortunately, so many times we pray for something and it doesn't happen and we say, well, it wasn't God's will. But was it God that inspired you originally to pray for that? Maybe some things are God's will, but God expects us to cooperate with God in God's creation. And so God is waiting for us to practice the art of prayer. When I was young, I took piano lessons. I've never been a virtuoso. <laughs> I can hardly play good enough to please myself. But I remember the practicing over and over and over, practicing the scales, practicing getting the fingering just right in the music. And finally, I would have some sense of mastery, maybe not exactly what I wanted. Prayer is like that. Prayer is a matter of practice. And just when you've mastered something, you feel like you've really had a, a breakthrough and you're ready to really be a powerful prayer person, the Lord shows you that there's another level. You don't mind practicing your video games over and over and over. So we ought not to fault God when we don't practice the art of prayer. That's what a, a rule of life does. It recommends that you pray certain hours of the day to begin a practice of prayer. But it's not just enough to say words. It is to tap in to the presence of God within you. To seek to know God's will in, in any case. And then to agree with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, in what they are discussing around their table in their counsel. What is God's will in this? And then connect your will with that in agreement with God and send the Holy Spirit to do the bidding. It does take practice. So today's meditation has to do 
with your considering what it is like to practice prayer. If you don't, if you can just disavow yourself of that idea that, well, every good Christian, this is just easy for them, it's automatic. Get rid of that idea and ask yourself and ask God, if I am to practice prayer, what does that look like? What do I need to do? And you may need to read. You may need to talk to some people that you know are powerful in their prayers. And you certainly need to spend more time in prayer yourself. It's said that the only difference between amateurs and virtuosos is the amount of time spent honing their craft. God knows we need some people to hone the craft of prayer. So let's take that thought with us and go into a meditation. Close your eyes and enter a space in your holy imagination that is that safe place, that place you felt closest to God, that the place in which you are the most receptive to what God has to offer. Walk there, lie there, sit there, and meditate in silence upon the practice of prayer.
Let's come out of our meditation. I pray that this meditation has led you to begin exploring how practice in prayer works for you. And I pray that you will continue a practice of prayer, whether it's praying the written prayers that are available in the prayer book, whether it is praying the Psalms, whether it is using the rosary in your prayers, whether it is silence before God, simply getting before God and saying, God, I don't know what to pray, but here I am, here I am. Perhaps it's keeping the offices praying every morning when you rise up, praying the Psalms, every morning at, after breakfast, you do morning prayer, noon prayer, evening prayer, compliment before bed. The more you practice, the better you get. That's true of anything. If science can realize that our intentions influence the physical world, how much more might our prayers shape all of creation? Let us pray. Holy One, we thank you that you honor us by asking us to participate with you in guiding and shaping and molding this creation. Not just the people who have needs, but the very environment, the weather, the, the animals that live on this earth, the harvest. God, you've given us power that we don't understand. Help us in our baby steps to practice prayer until we are the towers of power that you desire us to be. This we pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless you, and may you have a wonderful, peaceful, and prayerful day.